Hello dear students, let's learn how to find time period of a simple pendulum whose length is comparable to radius of earth. So we have, uh, this is earth of radius r, the center of the earth. And this is a long simple pendulum suspended from point O, length is L, mass of the bob is M. And this L is comparable to radius of the earth. So what we'll do as we always do, uh, give a little angular displacement uh, theta to the bob. And uh, now the bob has come to this angular position. Angular position is theta. And let's do a little bit of geometry. I'm joining this uh, bob to the center of the earth. And suppose uh, this angle is say phi. And uh, let me extend the uh, line of the simple pendulum uh, like this. And uh, this angle is the external angle of this triangle. So obviously this angle will be the sum of these two angles. So this angle will be theta plus phi. So now uh, let's do a little bit of uh, geometry more. Uh, what we have done, we have done a very small displacement. So the bob has come to this position. And obviously L is comparable to R. So this length is very small compared to the radius of the earth. So what we can take the approximation as we can still treat this length as to be a radius of the earth because this angular displacement is very small. So now in this case, I'm going to apply the sine rule. The sine rule will say that the sine phi upon L is equal to sine theta upon this length, which I'll treat as a approximately R. So my equation will be uh, sine phi by L divide is equal to sine theta by this length, which is R. And uh, if theta is very small and measured in radian, so sine theta will be approximated to theta. And because L and R are comparable, so phi will also be very small. So sine phi will be approximated to phi also. So the next equation will become phi by L is equal to theta by R. So uh, I can write phi is equal to L by R into theta. So that is the geometrical part. Now the draw the FBD of this uh, bob. So obviously there will be two forces. One will be weight and one will tension. So I'm showing only the weight and weight will obviously act towards the center of the earth like this. And uh, this is the weight mg and the component of mg along this line uh, would be mg cos theta plus phi and the component of weight tangent to the path would be uh, mg sine theta plus phi and obviously this is 90 degree. So now to prove the motion is a simple harmonic motion, it is actually angular motion. So what we'll do, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to somehow arrive to the equation alpha is equal to minus omega square into theta. And to do that, we'll apply torque is equal to I alpha. And uh, this is oscillating about this point O. So I'll write equation I about O into alpha is equal to torque about O. And I about O is the moment of inertia about O about o and this is a, a simple pendulum length l all the masses at the bob so moment of inertia is ml square and then multiply by alpha and then there is a tension which i have not shown so the tension line of action of tension is going to o so it will not cause any torque same thing with the mg cos theta plus phi that will not cause any torque all the torque is caused by mg sin theta plus phi and the perpendicular distance is L. The torque net torque is equal to mg sine theta plus phi into L. And because we have given angular displacement along this direction, this torque will try to rotate along this direction. So in a sense, this torque is a restoring torque. So uh, to so because it is a restoring torque, we'll write a sine minus. So torque is minus mg sine theta plus phi into L. And now this mm will get cancelled and one l will get cancelled so uh, i can write alpha is equal to minus g by l into sine theta plus phi and uh, once again the approximation theta and phi are very small so theta plus phi is also very small so uh, i can approximate sine theta plus phi to theta plus phi 
and then uh, what i can do i can write value of phi from this equation so that will become a uh, minus g by l into uh, 1 plus l by r into theta and then uh, take uh, l into the bracket so we will have alpha is equal to minus g into 1 by l plus 1 by r theta if we compare this with a standard form of uh, angular system which is alpha is equal to minus omega square theta so whatever is this thing this thing is omega square so omega is a square root of g into 1 by l plus 1 by r so that is the shm and whose angular frequency is given by whatever is written in this box thank you